Beachy Head is the place for deeper water, strong tide and rocky ground. Although this is thought of as a bass spot, nautical charts show that whereas the rest of Eastbourne up to the pier is no more than a couple of metres at low tide, Beachy Head at Cow Gap does have depths down to 30 metres plus nearby. With that depth and this rocky ground, congas as well as bass are the target. We'll now take the long walk to one of the few places it is accessible, Cow Gap. Just be aware, although as the crow flies there's parking nearer, the crow doesn't have to climb up the most monstrous hills the south coast could throw at an angler. Longer in distance, but easier on the heart, is the parking near St Bede's School. Those double yellows stop around where I was standing and you can park roadside no problem. In sequence, this is the walk to the mark. Once you get to Cow Gap, it's another 10 minutes or so if you want to press on to Head Ledge, but most will want to throw their bags down at this point. I'm not going to give you the health and safety lecture about the dangers of fishing here, but suffice to say, one slip and a broken leg down here on your own and you're in trouble. For those partnered up and staying sensible, you've done the walk, no point in fishing half a lug for the small stuff, on with the bass baits and you're away. <laughs> There's one place to aim your bait at here if you don't want to cast into the rocky ground. In front of the steps down to the beach there's a sandy patch. To the left and right it is continuous rough ground. Indeed rats and congas have been caught from here by those willing to brave their tackle. Best advice is keep within reach of the steps. If you walk a few hundred yards down to the right, there's an informal nudist area anyway. You also get big seas at Berlin Gap with the waves coming up to the foot of the steps and there's no other escape route. On those very big seas, some anglers retreat to the top of the steps and fish from up there. 